Hola, hola, ¿qué tal? Soy Antonieta, una mexicana mexiquense, Texcocana, aquí vive aquí en Saskatchewan, Canadá. Una de las cosas que me llamaron la atención de Canadá fue el saber que había abejas. O sea, no entiendo, hasta la fecha no entiendo cómo es que las abejas sobreviven en invierno. Afortunadamente tengo un amigo que se dedica a la apicultura y él nos va a explicar. Y su nombre es Mike. ¿Quién es Mike? Hi, Mike. Hi, how are you? <laughs> so, as, uh, as I told you once, in my Mexican mind I couldn't click or didn't have the link between the bees in winter. So, can you tell us about how does the bees survive in winter and what can you show us hitting, hitting your storage room? After we uh, punch them out in, uh, in the fall time, when we bring a nest in before freezing, we put them in minus, t I mean plus 10, mm -hmm. and uh, we keep them dormant there till uh, we need them in a the hatchery. It starts uh, usually the first week of June, uh -huh. and we have to have flowers in the field, so we have to estimate 18 to 21 days before we stick them out into the field so they can keep pollinating their fields. Eh? All right. So what happens in June, the, June the 1st? What do you do in June the 1st? We uh, throw them in a hatching tray uh -huh. and we put, them on a, we put them in a high degrees where we can hatch them at 80 degrees. Uh -huh. And it takes 18 to 21 days to uh, hatch a bee. Uh -huh. And then we release them out in the field. Just open the trays up and let them go away. Eh? Okay. So we'll I'll take you on that day when we're doing that. Okay, so the uh, primero de junio, Primero de junio ponen los, las abejitas o los huevecillos en una, en un, me imagino que una charola para que ellos este, hatch, no sé cómo se hatch en español, y después ya las liberan. And then what else? And then we, uh, we leave them there till fall time and we continue doing the same thing year after year. After we hatch them, we punch so them out. So what happens in, in fall? We take them back in, put them in the shop and keep them in uh, the plus 10 uh, 10 degrees. Fair, uh, yeah, 10 degrees okay. uh, Celsius. Uh -huh. That's not Fahrenheit. Okay, ya en el, cuando llega el otoño, entonces ponen las abejas, ya agarran las abejas y las, las almacenan. This is the place where you storage them? Yeah, we entonces, store them in the shop. Cuando llega el verano, el verano, el otoño, ya las ponen en este lugar a, la tem a una temperatura de 10 grados. Y aquí es donde se quedan. The boxes. Okay. Show the boxes. So, all so these boxes, the, what are these boxes? The bees. Ah, estas, estas cajas, todas estas cajas están llenas de abejas. I have ah. over 300 of these. So, are they this or are they... They're, or they're like that. that. Uh, this one. Yeah, ah, they're entonces, the same en thing. En estas cajas están las larvas. Y si abrimos, all the larvae, yeah. Y si abrimos una de estas larvas, aquí hay una abeja. Uh, ya la maté. Yeah, aquí está una larva. Yeah. Esta es una abeja. Wow. So, all these boxes are full of... Yeah, there's about 16 gallons in each one, roughly, 16, on the live oh, count. 16. 16. 16 gallons of bees. 16, yeah. I said 16 gallons in cada It's caja. done by a calculation. Uh -huh. On so, the live count, we uh -huh. take 10, 10 uh, grams and we weigh them up, uh -huh. 10 grams, and then we cut them all apart, see how many worms in there. Uh -huh. and there's over 100, well then your live count is high. Uh -huh. So that means it tells you, when you calculate it, uh -huh. it tells you how many gallons in each box. Wow, that's yeah. interesting. So how do you call this one in English? Uh, it's just a larva, a larva, cocoon. A larva, yeah. cocoon, cocoon, yeah. okay. So 60, wow, that's lots. Yeah. So how many boxes do you have? We have, uh, we have over 300. 300, tiene alrededor de 300, 300 cajas. We have about uh, 5,000 gallons of bees. 5,000? Yeah, 5,000, but I don't hatch them all. I uh -huh. sell some to the Americans, too. Ah, okay. Yeah. Tiene como 5,000, este, 5,000 uh, yeah. de, de estas abejas. Dice que no todas las utiliza para este. Mary, these are born in. Uh, Algunas las vende a los Estados Unidos. So, uh, and what do you have here, uh, Mike? Sorry. This is where the bees will be uh, more uh, actually incubated, or not incubated, but they're actually uh, laid here. Uh, aquí, the bees lay them inside the holes. Ah, uh, y aquí las abejas yeah. ponen los huevos. Tos. So you put yeah. one of the larv the yeah. larvae here. There's one right there. Yeah, yeah there is one here. Ay, aquí hay una larva ya yeah. aquí. Entonces ellos las ponen aquí así. So, uh, um, yeah, I still, I, I mean, so you have the, the, the bees in the boxes. Mm -hmm. So when, when do you put the bees in here? Cuando pone las... I don't put them in here. The no? bee. I punch them out of here. Ah, these okay. came out of here. Ah, o sea. These are estas, put together for next year. So the bees, the bees are... The bees, the bees make that. Yeah. The That's bees the bee. Ah, aquí las abejas ponen sus huevecillos estos. Yeah. Y, y, y después Mike con una máquina la saca. So you use a, a machine? Yeah, That's we the use machine. a machine. Ah. I'll show you the machine too. Okay. Entonces, we'll run that pail through the machine. Okay, entonces las abejas ponen aquí sus, yeah. este, sus huevecillos y entonces ya Mai con una máquina saca los, las, los huevecillos que son estas, las larvas. Yeah. Uh, so, so you extract them from here and then you yeah. put them in the box. 
This is where, yeah, this is where they uh, they get born. They're born in here. Ah, entonces aquí es donde nacen las abejas. Because they're actually laid in here by the females. Ah, yeah. okay. The males don't do the work. The females uh -huh. do all the work. Dice que las las abejas, yeah. las las femeninas, son las que hacen todo el trabajo. Entonces aquí es donde nacen las las abejas. Ah, okay. So where do you keep this one, like a? Uh, Just like that. That's the one. Because you know what, my mom. I don't know if I told you, my mom used to have bees at home. Yeah, well, but yeah, she box. used to have the box, yeah, boxes. Well, those are honey bees. These are leaf cutter bees. They're only used for pollination. No ah, honey. Okay. So no say, honey. say that's for pollination uh -huh. only. Ah, okay. Que le estoy diciendo que mi mamá, eh, allá, si en la casa de mi mamá, eh, teníamos abejas, las, las cajas, para producir miel. Pero estas son para polinizar. Ah, so in summer or when in June the first you you let them free. You let them free. And, and then they start to pull this the period of polarization. And, and the bees that are let free now they ah. actually die off. Ah. And then they reproduce their young like this way. Ah. Entonces que en junio entonces liberan a las abejas para que ellos empiecen a polinizar. Oh, so, entonces hay dos tipos de abejas, las que producen miel y las que polinizan, pues las que tienen él tienen para polinizar. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, do you have a special kind of flowers around the... Just the alfalfa. We do alfalfa seed. Uh -huh. You could do other uh, seeds like uh, sweet clover seed, uh, red clover, different, usually different seeds for our seed mm -hmm. pro uh, mm -hmm. field. And uh -huh. it's a product that we sell besides the bees. Ah. You actually have two crops in one year. You get a bee crop uh -huh. plus a seed crop. Bee crop and a seed crop. A seed crop. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Entonces, dice, le pregunté si tienen alguna planta en especial alrededor de las, de las abejas. Dice que sí tienen la, 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 la alfalfa, pero puede ser cualquier otro tipo de, de semilla. Okay. When you don't have these bees, uh -huh. you won't get a crop. Ah, cuando They're uno strictly, tiene... Strictly for pollination. Ah, entonces sí. Si cerca de tu, de tu campo de, de, fla, de flores, semillas, no tienes este tipo de abeja, no se va, no se va a dar. So you need this one yeah. to have a crop, to yeah. have a... Uh, you have to have one. So that, that's, why it's, that's why the bees are so mm -hmm. important for the... the for the area. For the yeah. area. Y por eso es que es importante tener la, las abejas porque ellas son las que ayudan a la, a la producción de las semillas o de las flores. Uh, 